Today, the Department of Energy is proud to announce a conditional loan commitment for $1.5 billion to Holtec to get the Palisades nuclear plant back up and running. say the president knows this too this milestone was made possible by the president's invest in america agenda it's an industrial strategy to reinvest in our country so that we are that we are in the lead in producing the technologies that will get us to a clean uh, power future if this is finalized and when it is finalized this project is going to play a prominent role in two stories really that the president is writing for the country first is the story of how we're building america's clean and secure energy future restarting palisades is critical to that because right now not only is nuclear our single largest source of carbon free electricity it's one of our single largest sources of electricity period U.S. reactors have supplied 20% uh, roughly of our power since the 1990s. And even as we deploy more solar and wind and batteries, we're going to need more, not less, nuclear power in the decades to come. By our estimates, uh, to reach our net zero goals by 2050, we need to triple at least our nuclear energy supply. So this is this is a big win for America, a big win for the nation. Today, Michigan is going to make history. Palisades is going to make history. Holtec is going to make history. The United States is going to be making history. Restarting this Palisades nuclear power plant right here in Colbert Township is just a phenomenal undertaking. It was a long, windy road to get here, but I'm so happy to be here. When we get it done, it'll be the first restarted nuclear power plant in American history. Restarting Palisades protects 600 good-paying, high-skilled jobs at the plant and 1,100 more in the community, driving $363 million of regional economic impact. Once operational, Palisades will provide reliable power to more than 800,000 homes and help us meet our statewide clean energy goals by removing 3 million tons of CO2 from the atmosphere annually, roughly equal to the emissions of 650,000 cars. Today we're going to celebrate a historic milestone, the first time in U.S. history Palisades is poised to restart and resume full power operations with a couple of little bit of details to work out first. This will be a safe, clean, reliable energy source, and I think most of you know this was a column one plant, and it ran at 98% capacity, which is, even in nuclear, that is a good performance. And I, I, I'm not sure you know, and, I'm not, and I didn't tell the secretary and the governor, but you are standing on the exact spot where the first two SMRs will be built as well.